Sir? The 9-11 Commission, you, which you talk about, and this is what they did say, not what ABC pretended they yeah. said. What did they, they say? They said about you and President Bush, and I quote, the U.S. government took the threat seriously, but not in the sense of mustering anything like the kind of effort that would be gathered to confront an enemy of the first, second, or even third rank. That, first of all, that's not true with us and bin Laden. Well, I'm telling you, that's and, what the 9-11 right, Commission let's said. Let's look at what Richard Clark said. Do you think Richard Clark has a vigorous attitude about bin Laden? Yes, I do. You I do, don't has, you? He has a, a variety of opinions and loyalties, that's right. but yes, no, he right, has a vigorous wait, opinion. Yeah, he has a variety of opinions and loyalties now, but let's look at the facts. He worked for Ronald Reagan. He was loyal to him. He worked for George H.W. Bush. He was loyal to him. He worked for me, and he was loyal to me. He worked for President Bush. He was loyal to him. They downgraded him and the terrorist operation. Now, look what he said. Read his book and read his factual assertions, not opinions, assertions. He said we took vigorous action after the African embassies. We probably nearly got bin Laden. Well, what, I authorized. No, wait a minute. You wait, wait, wait. A, a few, no, wait a minute. You've lost I a few no, no. I authorized. I authorized the CIA to, to get groups together to try to kill him. The CIA was run by George Tenet that President Bush gave the Medal of Freedom to. He said he did a good job setting up all these counterterrorism things. The country never had a comprehensive anti-terror operation until I came there. Now, if you want to criticize me for one thing, you can criticize me for this. After the cold, I had battle plans drawn to go into uh, Afghanistan, overthrow the Taliban, and launch a full-scale attack search for bin Laden. But we needed basing rights in Uzbekistan, which we got after 9-11. The CIA and the FBI refused to certify that bin Laden was responsible. While I was there, they refused to certify. So that meant I would have had to send a few hundred special forces in and helicopters refuel at night. Even the 9-11 Commission didn't do that. Now, the 9-11 Commission was a political document, too. All I'm asking is, anybody that wants to say I didn't do enough, you read you, Richard Clark. Do you book. think you did enough, sir? No, because I didn't get him. Right. But at least I tried. That's the difference in me and some, including all the right-wingers that are attacking me now. They ridicule me for trying. They had eight months to try. They did not try. I tried. So I tried and failed. When I failed, I left a comprehensive anti-terror strategy and the best guy in the country, Dick Clark, who got demoted. So you did Fox's bidding on this show. You did your nice little conservative hit job on me. Well, what I want to know well, wait, is... Wait, 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 no, wait, 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 how many people in the Bush administration you asked this question of? I want to know how many people in the Bush administration you asked, why didn't you do anything about the coal? I want to know how many people you asked, why did you fire Dick Clark? I want to know how many people you we asked, asked we about asked, this. Have you ever watched Fox News Sunday, I sir? I believe you asked him that. We asked plenty of questions. Of you didn't ask that, did you? Tell about the truth, the USS Chris. Coal? Tell the truth, I, I, With, with did Iraq you ever and ask Afghanistan, that? there's plenty of stuff to ask, Did you ever sir. ask that? You set this meeting up because you're going to get a lot of criticism from your viewers because Rupert Murdoch's supporting my work on climate change. And you came here under false pretenses and said that you'd spend half the time talking <laughs> about, you said you'd spend half the time talking about what we did out there to raise $7 billion plus in three days from 200, uh, 215 different commitments. And you don't care. I, but President Clinton, uh, if you, you look at the questions your, here, you'll see half the questions about that. I didn't think this was going to set you, you launched, off on such a you tear. Launched, it set off on a tear because you didn't formulate it in an honest way, and because you people ask me questions, you don't ask the other side. That, uh, and, sir, and Richard that's not Clark... True. That is not true. Richard Clark made it clear in Do, his testimony... Would you like to talk about the, about the Clinton Global Initiative? No, I want to finish this now. All right. Well, it's All up to I'm you, saying sir. is, you, you, you falsely accused me of giving aid and comfort to bin Laden because of what happened in Somalia. No one knew al-Qaeda existed then. And the but very, did they know, no, did wait, they know wait, in 1996 when he declared war in the U.S.? Did they know in 1998 absolutely, absolutely when, when, he, when he bombed the and, two embassies? Did they know in 2000 when he hit the coal? What did I do? I worked hard to try to kill him. I authorized the finding for the CIA to kill him. We contracted with people to kill him. I got closer to killing him than anybody's gotten since. And if I were still president, we'd have more than 20,000 troops there trying to kill him. Now, I've never criticized President Bush, and I don't think this is useful. But you know we do have a government that thinks Afghanistan is only one-seventh as important as Iraq. And you ask me about terror and al-Qaeda with that sort of 
sort of dismissive thing when all you have to do is read Richard Clark's book to look at what we did in a comprehensive, systematic way to try to protect the country against terror. And you got that little smirk on your face and you think you're so clever. But I had responsibility for trying to protect this country. I tried and I failed to get bin Laden. I regret it, but I did try. And I did everything I thought I responsibly could. The entire military was against sending special forces into Afghanistan and refueling by helicopter. And no one thought we could do it otherwise because we could not get the CIA and the FBI to certify that al-Qaeda was responsible while I was president. And so I left office. And yet, I get asked about this all the time. They had three times as much time to deal with it, and nobody ever asked them about it. I think that's strange. Can I ask you about the Clinton Global Initiative? You can. I always intended to, sir. No, you intended, though, to move your bones by doing this first, which is perfectly fine. But I don't mind people asking me. I actually talked to the 9-11 Commission for four hours, Chris, and I told them the mistakes I thought I made. And I urged them to make those mistakes public because I thought none of us had been perfect. But instead of anybody talking about those things, I always get these clever little political deals where they ask me one set of questions and the other guys another set. And it always comes from one source. And so... And what and so, I, I really no. want to ask you about the Clinton Global Initiative, but what's the source? I mean, I, you seem upset. and, 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 and look. I am upset because... And, and, and because I can tell you, I'm always, asking you this in good faith because it's on people's minds, sir. Well, that's and right. I wasn't, and I wasn't, there's a and reason I, it's on people's minds. That's the point I'm trying to make. There's a reason it's on people's minds because there's been a serious disinformation campaign to create that impression. This country only has one person who's worked on this terror, from the terrorist incidents under Reagan to the terrorist incidents of 9-11. Only one, Richard Clark. And all I say to anybody is, if you want to know what we did wrong or right, or anybody else did, read his book. The people on my political right who say I didn't do enough spent the whole time I was president saying, why is he so obsessed with bin Laden? That was wag the dog when he tried to kill them. My Republican Secretary of Defense, and I think I'm the only president since World War II to have a Secretary of Defense of the opposite party. Richard Clark and all the intelligence people said that I ordered a vigorous attempt to get bin Laden and came closer, apparently, than anybody has since. All right. And the, you guys try to create the opposite impression when all you have to do is read Richard Clark's findings and you know it's not true. It's just not true. And all this business about Somalia, uh, the same people that criticized me about Somalia were demanding I leave the next day. The right. same exact crap. So if you're going to do this... For God's sakes, follow the same standards for everybody I think we and did, be sir. flat I and think, fair. I think we did. When we return, we finally get back to the Clinton Global Initiative. And you'll also hear why the former president says the White House is selling fear in the fall campaign. Well, I don't blame Carl, though. He, if, if you got a deal that works, you just keep on so, doing so it. What? We'll be right back.